So, Leader Herring, this is a good point. I mean, for the average voter, particularly the voter who's somewhere in the middle, they'd love to be able to be listening to candidates who stand for things as basic as traffic. But whatever it is, it might be human rights, it might be uh, wages, it might be health care, and be able to make a decision between two parties. But Republicans at, at the state level in a lot of states, including in Georgia, are not bothering with that. They are not talking about issues. They're talking about this boogeyman of voter fraud that doesn't exist uh, and are not attempting to win on the, on the, in the arena of ideas. Right, exactly. That is where their focus in is, is on giving life to Jim Crow. I mean, that, that seems to be where their focus is. And it is not about traffic. It is not about um, improving schools. It is not is where what the Republican brand is, is what we see um, happening in Georgia. And that's why voters are responding. We are talking to voters and earning their trust and support because we're getting things done and we have proven it. And it, it, people love voting. I tell you, it was heartwarming to see people turning out early in Virginia uh, last presidential election, to see that early vote happening. And people are, want to vote and we should want people to vote. But this is a party, the Republican Party, I will say that they talk about how great it is when there's low voter turnout because they have a possibility of winning. That should not be happening. That is our state Jonathan. franchise voting. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.